that uh, they said nothing to worry about, move along. Obscure federal agencies triggered a firestorm of conspiracy theories. So now if you ask, uh, gee, I wonder why they've bought 1.4 million rounds of ammo more than 10 times any yearly purchase in history. And I wonder why they're not military ammo. It's illegal to use hollow points in the military worldwide because of the Geneva Convention. Uh, gee, uh, well, well, what are you going to do with 1.4 billion plus? Because there's more purchases daily. Now they're blacking out where the ammo is going to. So if we say, oh, you're blacking it out using critical thinking. Wow, you don't want us to know what you're doing, even though you're not mandated by Congress to make these purchases secret. Oh, and they're no bid contracts to your buddies. There's story after story after story here in the prostitute lazy media. Let me tell you what goes on at these newsrooms now. They've gotten rid of most of the real reporters that cause problems and actually do research. And they've got a bunch of lazy people that sit around in radio, TV, and print. And they sit around and wait for press releases to come from government or corporate agencies. And then because they ask weak questions that are softballed, they have connections, and they get to call up and talk to the CEO or uh, the governor or the police chief or whoever or the senator, and they'll give them a quote on top of that. And then they get to go on junkets to Hawaii or whatever uh, with the rest of the uh, prostitutes. That's what they do. Not, uh, uh, well, wait a minute, it's 1.4 billion rounds. Oh, wait a minute, uh, they're now, since we're reporting on it, the new purchase orders blacking them out. Hey, you're not allowed to do that. Hey, why are these no bid? I mean, just story after story after story. But because real reporters in dinosaur media are so rare. Fox News can just take the quotes from the federal agency, and just put it out there and say, they said it's no big deal, conspiracy theorist. And they use that term over and over and over and over and over again. So now if I have any type of discrimination on what type of car I like, on what type of food I like, on, on what type of... Uh, Toothpaste, I like. That's a conspiracy theory because they're they're saying if you question anything, that's a that's a conspiracy theory, which is a pejorative term to criticize people, implying you're mentally unstable. Well, going along with this out of control government and this out of control bureaucracy, that's what's mentally unstable. So here they are on the mountain, uh, reporting to us like they're God. Agencies tap down speculation over hollow point ammo purchases. I say good job to Fox for even covering this, but they still, to even get it published, have to run with all the little talking points. But the agencies, most recently, the Social Security Administration, are trying to put a damper on the speculation, noting the ammunition is standard issue and simply used for mandatory federal training sessions. Really, uh, more than 10 times what you've ever bought, uh, and uh, $1.4 billion. Obscure federal agencies triggered a firestorm of conspiracy theories. Our special agents need to be armed and trained appropriately, said a message on the official blog of the Social Security Inspector General's office explaining the purchases. The bullet purchases drew widespread attention as the website Infowars.com published several stories on them that were linked off of the widely read Drudge Report and other sites. DrudgeReport.com Infowars.com cataloged a string of recent purchases, because we're evil conspiracy theorists, we link to the official purchase orders. First by the Department of Homeland Security, then by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and then the Social Security Administration. Yeah, no mention here of the major backdrop that it's 1.4 billion. 250 million, 450 million, 750 million. That was a week and a half ago. Now, hundreds of thousands more a day in the purchase orders. And I mean, we're talking about 20,000 rounds to little bitty offices that we go and look up. Don't even supposedly have armed, sworn people in them. But the feds don't care. They've set the precedent with the TSA to let any bureaucrat impersonate a police officer. And let me tell you, it's going to cause big problems having the TSA on the streets. Folks, you think the police get out of control? At least they have some constitutional training. 
when you get all these security guards and mercenaries and minions that basically bounty hunters are more professional, it's, it is already a nightmare. Continuing. Infowars.com speculated the purchases were being made in preparation for civil unrest. Imagining, no, we I didn't imagine we linked to government and Pentagon documents. <laughs> Infowars.com speculated the purchases were being made in preparation for civil unrest. Imagining a scenario of economic collapse. Oh, we're imagining. It was only in Fox News that we linked to talking about economic collapse and every other major publication. But, 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 but we imagined it. See, our articles are full of links. Our articles on average have about 15 times, I've, I've done the math, 15 times the links of a quote mainstream media dinosaur publication. I mean, if we say something, we link to it. And by the way, when we see a big, fat, out of control government run by foreign banks raping our country and the world, we say something. When I see something, I do say something. So it goes on to say, imagining a scenario of economic collapse where censors could cause disorder, if seniors could cause disorder if denied their Social Security benefits. And that's not what we really said in the article. We said people getting denied their benefits across the board, there would be major breakdown in civil unrest, which the media admits on the other side of its mouth they're preparing for. As we said in a recent post, our office has criminal investigators, our special agents who are responsible for investigating violations of the laws that govern the SSA's programs, said the Social Security Administ Administration. But the Social Security Administration statement posted Thursday noted that their agents need firearms and ammo in the course of training investigations and responding to threats against offices and employees. So... There's this backdrop with people watching Fox News or people reading this where they're like, oh, that bad Alex Jones and that Infowars.com and that, that evil drudge report.com. I mean, look, they just took reasonable National Weather Service and Social Security Administration getting a little ammo mandated by law for just basic target practice and things that are mandated. And here's Alex Jones imagining the end of the world and financial crises. So the average person sitting there watching television or reading this thinks, oh, there you go again, being alarmist. When our article links to Pentagon drilling for civil unrest, mainstream news saying economic collapse on the horizon, 1.4 billion rounds. Over 10 times the biggest purchase I've ever done. We had that in an article. All of it linked. And Fox News is just jealous that Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, and DrudgeReport.com are, well, Drudge is getting more traffic than Fox News, and that we're starting to get up there. So you don't control the narrative anymore, okay? By the way, I've got family in the Army, the Marines, you name it. They've been doing nothing but training for civil unrest with local police all over the country. I mean, th th this is admitted. If we're unable to stop this collapse and what's coming, you are going to look even stupider for making jokes about us. Now, there's the article. DHS classifies new ammo purchases following controversy. Federal agency blacks it out. See, that's the story. 1.4 billion rounds. Oh, but they're like, oh, we bought 174,000 rounds and we had info wars. And it just goes on, as concerns about the type of bullets, hollow points, which expand upon impact, the statement said the type of standard issue and being used during mandatory quarterly firearms qualifications and other training sessions. That's not true. You don't use hollow points uh, in um, your qualification and your training. You, you use regular ball ammo because it's less expensive and doesn't jam as easy. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, found itself scrambling to respond to a similar report this week about an order for 46,000 rounds of ammo. And it just goes on. So uh, I'm going to spare you the rest of the conspiracy theory stuff. And I, quite frankly, have only gotten to a handful of stories. There is, there is so much to cover. 
You know, we've got the Justice Department shipping tens of thousands of guns and hand grenades into Mexico. But instead, the Justice Department is busy creeping around spying on Rupert Murdoch so they can blackmail his media empire into supporting gun confiscation, banning semi-autos, abortion, which they are now promoting, many of their show hosts. Uh, and here's Politico, exclusive FBI probed GOP trip with drinking nudity in Israel. And it describes a boat out in the harbor with people swimming in their underwear or fully clothed. Uh, and they described this, uh, and the FBI found that, no, there, that there wasn't anything illegal going on. Now, again, this is pure.